Anger is the, is the first word in Greek in, in the poem, and it's a particular kind of anger. It's, it's the anger of Achilles, um, which animates the whole poem. Um, but the word is used as an unusual word in, in Greek, and it's usually um, employed as a, a meaning something like vengeful anger and um, appropriate to the gods. So this is an anger which is not, it's, it's not a spat, it's not, it's not crossness. It's something almost cosmic uh, and godlike, and the Achilles is is angry because he has been slighted, not sulked, as as people say. It's not sulking. It's it's something which goes to the centre of his his being that he's not been given the honour which he considers his due, and that although Achilles does not appear um, in in description, he doesn't act in the poem all that much until he re-enters the fighting after Patroclus is killed in Book 16 uh, and having, having been um, approached in Book 9 and, and begged to go back in the action he says no um, but uh, after he has uh, um, gone back into the, 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 the poem and the, the anger at Agamemnon is gradually replaced really um, by um, his desire for vengeance uh, on behalf of Patroclus, which means why he kills Hector, the, the Trojan hero. And the poem ends with the uh, arrangements for the funeral of Hector. Um, and that, in a sense, means that, that well, points out that the, the, the word which is the first word of the poem has now come full circle. Um, and it's, it's interesting that. Uh, at the same time as the, uh, the, the funeral arrangements are, are being made, there is a, a strong statement, uh, as Prime says, you know, we will have 12 days um, a, a, a arranging the funeral, and after that we will go on fighting. And so you're conscious that just as things happened before the anger, after all it's the 10th year of the poem, so the fighting will go on afterwards.